102, 103. Oh, oh hey there. Yeah. How's it Feels going? Burn. Nice you could join us. Welcome to Lifestyles and Passions of the BCS family. Oh, <laughs> 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 you cut that, right? <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Brooke J. I'm Isaac Patagoni. And today with us, we have Kelly and Jared Hall. I'm going to give you guys a little round of applause. You guys may know them from the BCS football fields. You guys are both from Chicago, so transplants yes. here. And I love your story because I think it's such a cute fairy tale. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys met in high school, you were a quarterback, you were a cheerleader. Fast Not a cheerleader. I was on the dance team. Did you say oh. cheerleader? I didn't say cheerleader. I was I never a cheerleader, I people. <laughs> no. <laughs> so fast forward today, you guys are married, business owners. We're going to get into a little bit what you guys are passionate and spending your time on, but uh, we just want to highlight you guys with the BCS family. So thanks yeah. for joining us. Thanks yeah, for thanks for having us. us. <laughs> well, first of all, Jared, we've all seen you on the, on the sand. You're an awesome quarterback. Uh, but what people, a lot of people don't know is off the field, you're a quarterback coach at a fellowship of Christian athletes. Uh, can you tell us a little about what you do there and how, what inspired you to do what you do? Yeah, so um, FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, uh, my grandfather was a big time high school football coach back in Chicago. And um, as I was growing up, he um, ran a FCA Bible study in his house for a number of years and through those growing years I was able to see uh, just a lot of high school and college athletes um, you know just the, I saw them get loved on by a coach but I also saw them just experience something spiritually yeah and so we, we try to put athletes in, in front of these kids that have you know experienced life to the full and have put their faith first cool. um, and I think that's that that's the overall message is, is teaching kids that hey you can play your sport for an audience of one um, this idea that, that God is going to love you regardless of your performance um, because we live in such a performance-based world. And so, um, so yeah, I'm blessed to be able to do that, oversee a team that covers a number of schools in Orange County. Um, and through that, that opened up doors to, to, to coach football, and I also um, coach quarterbacks privately. I've been doing that for 10 years. So, yeah. That's Sounds cool. like a dream yeah. job. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. <laughs> be able to mix faith yeah. with sports is, uh, is my dream. So I'm able to, wow. it's really yeah. cool I'm able to do that. Yeah. And then cool. kill it a little bit on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. While playing BCS. Glory days. Yeah, yeah. seriously. He still, he still has it. He no, still has it. Well, are you guys both still on the same team? So we played on the same team for like five or six years. Mm -hmm. Um... And then, almost two years ago, we had our first baby. Yay. We have a little girl, Ryland. She's almost two. And um, I would have loved to play as much as I could, but with baby, life just gets busy. So now I'm on the sides, sidelines. That's usually when you see me with Ryland. Yeah. And she loves cheerleading for him. Her favorite line is, go daddy, touchdown. <laughs> so it's super fun. <laughs> so I'm able to still play. And that's awesome. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad you brought up Ryland because we're sitting right here in your gym, Burn Boot Camp in yeah. Costa Mesa, right off the 73. Um, can you tell us how you guys got involved with this? Because this is still a new journey for you guys. Yeah. So. Ryland's very central to that story, so I was always very much into working out, um, beach volleyball, beach football, we did CrossFit together before we had kids, and then once, um, once I had Ryland, it was just really hard for me to prioritize that area of my life, so I was either having to work out super early mornings when Jared was around to watch Ryland, or late at night, which yeah, I'm never good after two o'clock. So I literally Googled one day um, boot camp with childcare because I knew I loved like the competitive side of group fitness and needed childcare. And Burn Boot Camp came up. Um, this gym has been open now for close to two years, um, and so I was a client for almost a year, and then. Um, long story short, started thinking about opening up more boot, burn boot camps just because I fell in love with, first of all, the workouts, the results that I saw in my body post yeah. baby um, were incredible, and the community of women that I met and the free childcare was a huge plus. So started yeah, thinking about, of. yeah, it was it's a really unique model and niche um, that I think is valuable in Orange County. So yeah. we started looking into opening a second one, and then we're approached by these former owners to take over this one. And so March first. Jared and I, with our really good friends, Robbie and Shannon Boyer, took over this location and are now owners. Yes, so the mission of Burn Boot Camp is very much empowering women, kind of giving 
moms especially, no excuse for prioritizing their health. So the workouts are quick, the childcare is free, there's personalized nutrition to be able to blend kind of all areas of your health. Um, and so it is women only in the mornings. Men are allowed to come in the afternoons at 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. So a lot of our clients bring their boyfriends, bring their husbands <laughs> to work out at night. And then Saturdays are free for everybody. Free and open for men, women, everybody. It's awesome. I was fully strategizing to put a wig on Isaac and <laughs> sneak in. I can pull it off and I will sneak in. <laughs> well, one of the things that we always like to ask in this these videos are how can the BCS family support both of you guys and what you're up to? Um, yeah, I mean, I, we would when we took over this gym, we knew that it was going to be a lot of work to grow it. Obviously, it's a, it's a passion of ours, but it's also thinking long term about a way to just financially put us in a place where um, I won't have to work anymore and can spend more time with Rylan and um, future babies. And so um, that's kind of our priority right now is growing the gym. So we would love anybody, guys, girls, to come try it out. Um, we offer free for, free two weeks, and then right now we're doing. Cool. 30 days for $69. Um, and so come try it out. And um, if you know others, if you know moms especially, that would benefit from a community like this, spread the word. But yeah, cool. BCS I mean, quarterbacks, no, come I train with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 if I host your quarterback, anything, no. I will bring you. <laughs> I think um, outside of like the deals and everything that Kel said, I mean, even though you guys are taking the time to do this, um, it means a lot to us, you know, yeah. the fact that you guys would just take the time to drive over here, help set up and, and film a little bit of the class and just hear more about our story. Um, I've always felt supported by you guys no matter what I've done. Um, and I think I've been one of the first people to, to sign up for BCS back in the day. So it's okay. been cool for me just to see the growth of the, the hard work that you guys have put in. and. Um, and just providing that community that I think is really hard to find. I mean, Kelly and I are both from out of state and don't have any family around here. Um, and beach football has really become that for us. Uh, and so some of my closest friends now are, are you know, because I, I play BCS. So.